Good day and hello to all to my viewers and welcome to my channel. So today in this video we're going to drive to Malakuta Victoria from Orbus Victoria. The total driving distance from Orbus Victoria to Malakuta Victoria is about 145 kilometers and the driving time which is about 1 hour and 45 minutes. So if you travel from Orbos to Malakuta via a bus or car which is cost you only at 13 dollars. So anyway, we are already here past at um, Kent River, so this is a different town. So Kent River to Malakuta which is about 53 minutes or 69.6 kilometers. And actually, we are already here, so we are ready to turn right of this area here to go to Malakuta. And actually, we are already here, arrived at Malakuta, Victoria. So what is in Malakuta? So it is said that Malakuta it is a town and Malakuta is a small holiday and fishing town situated at the mouth of Malakuta Inlet in the far eastern corner of Victoria. And anyway, we are already here at the beach. Malakuta's remoteness has made it popular for visitors seeking a quiet seaside experience in an area surrounded by forests, secluded beaches, and pristine waterways. And Malakuta has a spectacular views can be enjoyed from many points along the coast, taking in the sandy beaches of the extensive inland waterway of the Malakuta Inlet and the several islands located close to the shore. So now we're going to take a little walk here down here at the beach. And it is said that fishing and boating are popular activities and many visitors enjoy accommodation in beachfront, apartments or for sure a caravan and camping grounds. Malakuta is surrounded by the 87,500 hectares Kroangjingolong National Park which extends for over 100 kilometers along the wilderness coast of the region. There are a number of lighthouses are present in the park, with the most prominent being the structure built in 1862 on the granite outcrop, which makes up Gabu Island, located 13 kilometers from Malakuta. Malakuta's beaches on the coast of the Krowangjingolang National Park are sacred pockets of wilderness waiting to be discovered. Remote, secluded, and scenic, you won't believe your eyes once you step in. And you can breathe in the ocean breeze and you can explore so much things here in Malakuta it's such a beautiful place in Victoria such a beautiful place down here at Malakuta you know it's such a beautiful place and 
all I can say is Manakuta. It is a very beautiful place to come here. It is really worth if you travel down here for driving or anything or for camping or a holiday. It's such a beautiful place for surfing too. It's like I'm all beaches within and near Malakuta are linked by the Malakuta Coastal Walk except for Big Beach when the mouth is open and Santa Barbara Bay. And you can go for an easy walk, take a dip in glimmering waters, catch some waves and simply and win in the wild. And it is such a wonderful place and it's really stunning. Betka River is really stunning and it meets the ocean and Betka Beach and provides a lovely swimming area for the kids and families within the Inuit. And also there is a big grassy area with picnic tables, gas barbecues and never toilet facilities. During low tide, you can walk south along the beach, make your way around the rocky outcrop onto the next beach, and then again onto a third one. So this place, it is a really popular for surfers, stretch off beach between tip beach and Bethka beach and from time to time the seasonal Davis Creek River joins the ocean here So this place, it is really popular for surfers, so it doesn't take long to see why surfing is a favorite pastime in Malakuta. So from the vessels and crumbs catching ripples to the more experienced birds at Tip or Davis Creek, simply head to any of the many beaches in and around town. All surfing spots around Malakuta are subject to small and large rips, so caution must be taken. So anyway, I need to go back at the car park and I need to go to the other way across of the beach. So every time I go outside, I always um, wear my hat on and my long sleeve on plus the sunscreen because um, the sun here in Australia, it is really, really strong. And also the sun here in Australia, it can cause a sun cancer. That's why I always cover up my skin. I always um, wear my, my hat on and also my sunscreen on. So anyway guys, um, we're going to the Malak Malakuta Coastal Walk. So anyway, we are going to do the little walk. So this wonderful walk has been cleverly designed so at nearly 10 kilometers one way or 18 kilometers return and it can be taken in one go or easily broken into separate walks. And Malakuta is a fabulous place to visit particularly if you like walking. 
and its beautiful inlets and bush trails make it a worker's paradise with options for different abilities and interests. And if you are from Melbourne, so it is about the distance to come to Malakuta, it is about um, at a little over 500 kilometers from Melbourne to Malakuta. And Malakuta is the last real town before the New South Wales. And Malakuta, it is the last Victoria, the last town of East Gippsland, Victoria. There is more to Malakuta than great walks. And Malakuta, it's a popular spot for bird watching, fishing, surfing, swimming, and boating too. So renting a boat or canoe and gently navigating around the bottom or top lake is a popular choice. So the lakeside walk is a fabulous 5 kilometers one-way walk that reveals the beauty of Malakuta's bottom lake and includes boardwalks and viewing platforms to watch the abundant bird life. And the Narrows is one of the must dog walks of Malakuta that showcases the waterway connecting the bottom and top lakes of the Malakuta Inlet in Kruangjingolong National Park. So we're currently here at Malakuta Coastal Walk and it is about a 9.5 kilometers one-way walk that takes you through some amazing bush and heathlands and past many beaches with some really stunning ocean views. Better still, it's a series of shorter walks so you can choose how far you want to wander each time. So anyway guys, we're heading back to the car now because I think it's really really uh, far for this little girl here. She's always whinging that she say that it is really really far and she can't walk anymore and she is tired. So that's why we're heading back to the car. So now guys, we going to the other way of the Malakuta, the other side of Malakuta, this way here at the top. So while we're driving the car and you can see the beautiful sceneries down here at Malakuta. It is a really such a fabulous place to come. So anyway, if you love photography, I can tell you that Malakuta is really paradise place and it has lots of uh, beautiful and unique landscapes. There are plenty of shops here, so you don't have to worry what you're gonna eat because there are lots of shops. So now we're heading to town where the caravan camping ground here. So that's the beach front of the caravan park, the camping ground park. Malakuta's mild and temperate weather make it a perfect all-season camping getaway. 
and mostly it is a favorite holiday destination for Victorians, Canberrans, and those hailing from New South Wales. So we just bought a pizza and we decided to come here for a little drive while we're waiting for our pizza order. And the camping ground, it's really clean guys. And Malakuta is not difficult at all and their main attraction is fishing. Now I can tell you that Malakuta is one of a truly most beautiful and amazing destinations in Victoria. That's all for now guys and I hope you enjoy watching all this video and if you're not subscribed yet please don't forget to like and subscribe and press the bell on bell so that you're always updated every time I upload a new video and thanks again and bye bye see you next time bye